Doctor. The jaw's still clamped. 20 milligrams Valium. All right. What happened? The convulsion started when I called. Comatose. And no look for the airway. No. All right, we've got to abort the seizure. Valium. I have it. Respirator? No, that's no good right now. Tom? Stay back, Faith. Oh, oh my God, he's come on. Honey, stay back. He's dead. No. He was in for a displaced trachea. Now, he had everything that we could get. I mean, what happened? His blood pressure kept rising, 180 over 120. He, he couldn't swallow. He kept complaining about headaches. Headache? Well, it started a little while after you left. I, I, I mentioned it to you on the phone. Head injury. I didn't hear. I'm sorry, doctor. Thank you. What about the fall? He hit his head. No, I don't see any problem. We'll check on it in the morning. I did everything I could. I'm sure you did. Thank you. Dr. Kolarich, this is Mrs. Blake. Yes? Mr. Desmond's blood pressure is up. Well, he's been anxious about a meeting tomorrow. It's, uh, it's nothing serious. Get an IV started, 5% dextrose and normal saline. Oh, my God. He hit his head. We'll check on it in the morning. Oh, my God. Head injury. I didn't see. Saline would have increased the intracranial pressure. It could have killed him. I could have. I didn't see. I just didn't see. I don't know what I... Roger? 
Honey. He's dead. I'm sorry. He's gone. No. We did everything we could. Why? I don't know. Tell me why. Tell me. Look, look, we'll, we'll know for certain after the postmortem, okay? Look, why don't we go downstairs? No! Come on. No, no. Faith, look, at least let me call Jill. She'd want to know. No, no. I'll call Jill. I'll call Jill. Faith. I'm all right. I'm all right. There's nothing you could have done. Faith knows that. But Delia, I... She knows. It's almost dawn out. You okay? Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. <laughs> Funny. All that time without you, and now when you're not there, I... Yeah, I know. What's the matter? Oh, I don't know. I just couldn't sleep, I guess. I'm a little ups upset. The photographer. Yeah, the photographer watching us like that, following you home from the hospital before, reporters calling on the phone. You know, I'm sorry, I just didn't break that camera. Hey, that wouldn't have stopped them. No, but Jill, you don't deserve that. Don't. I am sorry. For what? Don't you see? You see, I've done it again. I swore, I swore that I would not let it happen again. You as Frank Ryan's mistress. You haven't done anything except let me love you again. We are together. That's all that matters. No, Jill. Don't. This means everything to me. Don't you dare apologize for it. Hey, people will forget about this. This is going to pass. All the bad times are going to be over with. But you'll still be here with me. And whatever the price is to pay for that, it's fine. It's not bad now. You're here. Oh, I just wish, I wish. It's okay. Uh, I wish there was something I could do to stop it. You know, the more I think about it, the more convinced I am that Ray's responsible for the whole thing. Yeah, I thought about that, too. But would she do that? It's embarrassing for her, too. Uh, she could if she could keep it quiet. But the item was leaked out the other day, yesterday. It was in the yesterday's paper. Everybody knew, Jill. She had nothing to lose. Yeah. But she's not going to hurt us. Mm-mm. Come back to bed. Still a long time before morning. Jill, I really, I have to do... S Come on. Oh, I know it. I know it's one of those reporters. Just I ignore it. Just ignore it. Come I on. can't do that. They're not going to give up. Hello. And if you have something to say, say it. Jill? Faith? I woke you. What's wrong? Tom. What is it? He's dead. Oh, no. A little while ago, he... Jill, what is it? It's Tom. Tom, he's dead. Faith, where are you? In the hospital. Is there anybody with you? He's gone. Okay, I'm going to be right there. And Jill? I'm coming, honey. I'm coming. Oh, what happened? Oh, they don't know. Well, easy, nothing. It's okay. It's okay. I 
got to go to work. I'm coming with you. No, no, the photographers. I'm going with the photographers. It's bad for faith. You're right. It's not going to stay like this forever, Jill. I promise you that. Yeah, I do, Ray, but I need to see you. All right. If you'd like some coffee, no. I can have... No, thank you. Nothing. Well, how are you? Well, I've been doing some thinking about you. Oh? I assume you saw the picture in last night's paper. Yes. I'm sorry about that. Are you? Frank, what's going on? I want to hear what you know about the photographer who's been following me around. I don't understand you. I think you do, Ray. Look, no, Frank, it's very early, and the past few days haven't been exactly easy on me, so I really would appreciate it Ray, if you Ray, I want you to call them off. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I want you to call off the photographer. It's not going to do you any good. What? You know ex I know exactly what you're doing. And if you think that some kind of a scandal is going to break Jill and me up, then... I don't believe this. Try. Why on earth would I do something like that? I mean, wasn't it bad enough when I was publicly humiliated by having my engagement canceled three days before my wedding? You saw my statement. Mutual agreement and career conflicts. Now, probably nobody would have really believed that, but at least they'd have had the good taste to accept it quietly and let me try to get through all of this in a little bit of peace. But not anymore. Not since that picture appeared. And whatever you may think of me, Frank, I am not a masochist. I do not like being made a fool of. Not by anybody. No, I don't think you planted that item in that column initially. I don't think you'd do that to yourself. But after it appeared, you figured you had nothing left to lose. Yeah. I've seen you. I've seen the way you work, Ray. I've watched how you deal with people who cross you in the businesses. I've seen what you can do. I know you. I used to think you did. So did I. You know, if you wanted to hurt me, you might have at least chosen a decent hour to do it. I'm not here to hurt you. No? Mm -mm. And I'm not going to stand here and argue with you about this. I have my opinion. And if you want to deny you know absolutely anything about any of this, and you go right ahead. A very generous of But I'm going to tell you this. Nothing you can do will separate Jill and me. We're going to have our life together. And you can't take that away from us. Now, I don't even think you can hurt me politically. I know that you've helped me get to the Senate. I haven't forgotten that. I'll always be grateful to you for it. For that and for a lot of other things. Without your help, it would have taken me years to get where I am. But, Ray, I would have made it anyway. I'm there now. And you can't take it away. Not through any scandal, not through anything else you might dream up. The next election is five years from now. By that time, Jill and I will be married, we'll be living in Washington, we'll have a family. And any scandal that you might want to manufacture will be far behind us. And if people still remember, that's fine, but I don't think they will. But, Ray, I'm not going to give her up. Not this time. You through? No, I'm not. I don't think asking you to lay off this publicity is going to do any good. But I just want you to know, there isn't anything that you can do that will hurt me personally or professionally. Now I'm through. And I have nothing to say to you. Goodbye, Ray.
Goodbye. If you only knew. I can. I can take away everything I ever gave you just the way you took away everything from me. If you only knew. Tim? I know. I don't understand. No. I don't understand. You never will. <laughs> don't even try. Just remember him. Remember the two of you together and know. That's all I have. Not all. <laughs> oh, I love him. He knew. Last night, it's in, it's in morning. Yeah. We were making plans, and they were real. They were right. Our, our baby, our baby, Tom, we would have been happy. We were happy. A family next year. We thought we had so much time. Not even tomorrow. <laughs> we thought, oh, God, I never even said goodbye. Faith? <laughs> Not now, Delia. I just want to know if there's anything I can do. No, no, thank you. But I want to help. I could call the Ryans, Mae. Yeah, thank you. It's okay, I only want to help. Don't be sad. I'm all right. <clears throat> it wasn't your fault. If it was meant to happen, there's nothing you could have done. I don't know. You tried. <gasps> yeah. I have to go call Maeve. Faith asked me to. Blake, I'd like to see the Desmond chart, please. Yes, Doctor. Andy, uh, listen, I'd, I'd appreciate if you'd try to uh, arrange the post-mortem as, as quickly as possible. Oh, of course. I'll take care of it right away. I just wanted to have a look at the... Thank look, you. I want, it, I want it done immediately. Now, I'm sure the death was a result of the head injury, but I, I want it confirmed. Plus, I'd like to stay here and wait for my sister to come out. I'll, uh... I'll take care of anything that needs to be done. Sure. IV, 5% dextrose and normal saline. No, that was wrong. What about his head? Um, don't worry about it. IV, 5% dextrose and normal saline. That would have aggravated the injury. It would have increased the pressure, not brought it down. Have his vital signs rechecked every four hours? Yes, doctor. No. He'll be all right. You see, Roger says there's nothing to worry about. No. I love you, Faith. I love you. And you're going to be well. Everything's going to be fine. No. 
I didn't realize. I didn't see. IV, 5% dextrose and normal saline. Very slow drip. Better. Now that would have taken the head injury into account. It couldn't have hurt him. Vital signs checked every four hours. No. Every hour. Yes. Okay. No. You? No. I'm sorry. Don't. I, uh, I was just looking at the, uh, the medical orders and... Uh, the treatment was correct. The IV should have helped. The nurse checked him every hour. It's no one's fault. It must have been the head injury, and we'll know more after the postmortem. It doesn't matter. He's gone. It doesn't matter anymore. I just thought we'd have more time. Uh... <laughs>